Hello, my name is Andy McAndrew. I'm a first year master's student in the lab of Dr. Cindy Praha at McMaster University. My project focuses on investigating the effects of cannabis on neuroplasticity and fetal brain development. Some background on my topic. Anxiety and depressive disorders are the most common mental disorders, both universally and in Canada. Adults with mood disorders turn to cannabis as a form of treatment. In a recent Canadian survey, about 25% of adults with mood and anxiety disorders report using cannabis to self-medicate. Overall, cannabis is one of the most popularly used substances in Canada, and consumption has drastically increased over the COVID-19 pandemic, with the most common reported reason for use being stress. Cannabis has also been shown to impact neurodevelopment, which is of great interest since cannabis use is very popular among pregnant women. Despite the extensive gaps in knowledge pertaining to the impacts of cannabis on reproduction, uh, around 2-20% to of pregnant women report using cannabis at some point during gestation. Pregnant women have often described cannabis use as a means to get relief from pregnancy symptoms such as nausea, sleep, anxiety, and pain many of which are common in the first trimester of pregnancy, but it is in the first trimester in which the fetus is most susceptible to damage from external substances such as alcohol or drugs. The bioactive components of cannabis, THC and CBD, are very lipophilic and able to cross the placental barrier and enter fetal blood, Prenatal cannabis exposure has been linked with uh, various negative outcomes such as fetal growth restriction, learning disabilities, and memory impairment. Infants born to cannabis users have also been found to have increased tremors, exaggerated startle response, and poor habituation to novel stimuli, um, exhibiting some of the behavioral manifestations. At the level of the brain, cannabis use is associated with a decrease in hippocampal volume and increases in hippocampal dendritic atrophy. Prenatal THC exposure has been shown to alter hippocampal oscillations and brain hyperexcitability and also to impair the development of pyramidal and GABAergic neurons. There is little research investigating the effects of prenatal cannabis exposure on future anxiety and depression or stress coping, although Gray and colleagues have reported an association between cannabis use in the first and third trimester and increased depressive symptoms at the age of 10. It is clear that cannabis alters neurodevelopment but the mechanisms by which these effects are achieved are unclear. We intend to investigate the impact of individual cannabinoids, THC and CBD, on neurogenesis. Neurogenesis is the process by which new neurons are formed in the brain. It's crucial when an embryo is developing, but also continues in certain brain regions, including the hippocampus, after birth, and throughout our lifespan. Impairments in neurogenesis is implicated in the onset, remission, and progression of anxiety and depression. Uh, CBD has been shown to increase neurogenesis by Campos and colleagues, uh, but the effects of THC on neurogenesis are less explored, although THC has been shown to impact neurotrophic factors such as brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which impacts neurogenesis. So the methods that uh, we will be using, we'll be exposing pregnant mice to cannabis smoke during early pregnancy from embryonic day uh, 6.5 to 18.5. We'll be doing early pregnancy since as previously mentioned, this is when most of the symptoms that uh, facilitate cannabis use during pregnancy are seen. Also cannabis uh, ingested by smoke 
exposure is the most common route of administration, both in general and by pregnant women. At the embryonic day 18.5, the dams will be sacrificed and the fetus hippocampus will be obtained and markers of neurogenesis will be obsessed, will be assessed. Some of these markers include brain-derived neurotrophic factor, nerve growth factor, glial fibrillary acidic protein, nestin, neuro-D, and nu N. We will also assess hippocampal mitochondrial dynamics. Mitochondria are integral organelles involved in cellular energy production. Neurogenesis comprises an increased rate of mitochondrial biogenesis requiring increased mitochondrial genome replication and protein production for proper neuronal growth and differentiation. Moreover, there is evidence that impaired mitochondrial function contributes to age-associated decline in hippocampal neurogenesis, and it's been observed that enhancement of um, pharmacological enhancement of mitochondrial function actually promotes neurogenesis in the hippocampus. Mitochondrial dysfunction has been associated with impaired energy supply, calcium buffering, increased reactive oxygen species, and apoptosis, which are all characteristic of neuronal death. Phytocannabinoids, THC and CBD, have been shown to influence mitochondrial function and mitochondrial dynamics. Um, and therefore, the impacts of THC and CBD on neuroplasticity may be mediated by the effects on the mitochondria. We intend to explore some of the more mechanistic effects of THC and CBD on hippocampal neuroplasticity and mitochondrial function in an in vitro model using the HG22 cells, which are an immortalized mouse hippocampal cell line. Considering cannabis is often consumed by individuals who are stressed or experiencing anxiety or depression, the presence of stress hormones such as corticosterone and phytocannabinoids in combination could pronounce their individual impacts on neurogenesis. Biomarkers of neurogenesis and mitochondrial dynamics will be assessed in the stress-induced HT22 cellular model using PCR and Western blot analysis, um, the same with the mitochondrial dynamic markers. And this just illustrates uh, the experimental conditions with the cannabinoids in the presence of corticosterone, the stress hormone, individually and in combination. Prenatal cannabis exposure may alter hippocampal neurogenesis resulting in long-lasting neuroplastic modulations altering neurodevelopment. Previous research from our lab has illustrated that THC impairs mitochondrial dynamics by increasing mitochondrial fission in placental cells. Conversely, previous studies such as a study by De Silva and colleagues report regulatory effects of CBD on mitochondrial dynamics in the brain. The impacts of THC and CBD on mitochondrial function may play a role in, the, in potentiating the effects seen by these cannabinoids on neurogenesis. Overall, we will investigate the mechanisms by which individual cannabinoids impact neuroplasticity overlaid with uh, induced stress using corticosterone. We predict THC and CBD may mitigate or potentiate the impacts of corticosterone on mitochondrial function and neurogenesis. So some of my next steps, I'll be analyzing the changes in protein and gene expression of biomarkers of neurogenesis and mitochondrial dynamics in the hippocampus of fetal mice prenatally exposed to cannabis over 14 days. I'll assess the potential mechanisms of these neuroplastic changes in the HT22 hippocampal cells in the presence of murine stress hormone, corticosterone, and cannabinoids THC and CBD individually and in combination. And finally, I'll investigate the role of mitochondrial function in potentiating some of these neuroplastic changes.